Hey there, my name is Moella. In previous session, we made something like this, and this is the final result of Figma. And in this session, we need to make something like this. And at the end, on another session, I will speak about, you know, making and taking all of them in designer in before A. You can make something like this in designer and for example, when I click on this button, something comes up. And if you see a kind of black color covers the whole activity by a kind of fade and something comes up. And these are the fields that, that my user needs to fill up. Okay, but uh, we postpone it to another session. In this session, let's make this one. If you watched my previous tutorial, uh, you are, I think, able to make something like this, but I will try to add something to that, not to repeat each point. First, let's speak about plugins in Figma. One of the good points in Figma is plugin. For example, I want to change the position of each item, each layer. I right click and here I have access to the plugins that I have installed. One of them is Golden Ratio. But before that, how to install a plugin? You can go here, Plugins, and here you can manage and you can install new plugins. And just you need to search for this name. That's it. So, buy this one, Golden Ratio. It takes a while to load that. For example, do you want to have it in the center or I want it to be in golden ratio place? For example, if I press this one, this is a golden ratio for this layer. And for example, I want to move them to this golden ratio. First, let me uh, make a group out of them by control G because I want to move them together okay now I press on this one okay now I can easily give me the golden ratio and I hope that you know the value of golden ratio in designing uh, it makes your design beautiful it's not just you know making everything in the center you know and then you don't know where to put that Golden ratio, one of the best options that you can do. Okay. Um, by now, I prefer this one. Now, let's make something like this. First of all, I need to duplicate this frame. This is a frame, and these are the layers inside this frame. I want to duplicate that because it's the same background plus a black cover. So I press Ctrl D. This is the new frame and its name is Android 4. So I delete them. To have something like this, I can use rectangle again. First I need to, I'm trying to cover the whole activity by this rectangle. And then I give it a black color and then I reduce the opacity. Very simple. And then we need something like this. Again, rectangle. Okay, here as you see, I have uh, this kind of radius here and here, but not here how to do it because as you know first let's change the color as you know if I drag it to the center I can have you know this radius in four corners one option is this one and one option is this one if you try to drag it if you pay attention to my cursor because I cannot do this here because it doesn't have enough space and my cursor goes from right side and enters from left side. 
and then for example like this but I don't need these radius here what I can do I can hold alt on my keyboard and I can change that the other thing that you can do let me press ctrl Z is this one it gives you the access to four corners of your rectangle the top left top right bottom right okay this one and bottom left this one so these are your options different ways to do something like that okay and then we need this one I talked about this let me copy that And this button here, I already created something like that. And I want to use exactly the same, but I need to change, for example, maybe the text. One of the things that I can do is selecting this group, not the layer. The layers are inside. I select the group and then I copy that and then I paste that very easy isn't it but the problem is that later maybe I will decide about the color I will change my mind about the color I don't want to change the color of this one and if you remember that was a linear color and you know it's very difficult to change all of them one of the great thing in Figma is component which you have it here you can change it into component and then later if you change the master component all other instances of that master will change let's see how to do it so first I need to change that into component the only thing that you need to do to change it into component is pressing on this button very easy and now that is component how because this sign here it tells me this is the other one this is this button this is a sign of simple group but this one it shows me that this is a component now if I press ctrl D and for example I use it somewhere else in my application then I make a change inside this you know component for example, I change the color, for example, to solid, and maybe I make it a red. As you see, both of them have changed. I press Ctrl Z. By the way, you may say that I want to change something on this one. It doesn't matter. If you change the instances of the master of the you know, component, that change is only and only for the instance not this one so if I change the color of this one yes it's only this one and uh, for example if this one has more instances now if I change this one for example if I change the color this one and this one but not this one because now the color of rectangle separated from the color of the master but if I want this one to follow again from master it's here reset instance what do you want to reset name or whatever you know if you change the other thing it gives you the option to change them to reset them now I want to reset each and everything now if I change this one both of them together will change let's see yes this is very helpful very helpful uh, to manage and organize the theme of your design let me press ctrl z to have that uh, gradient again yes and now this is component and this is as you see this one this is the sign of instance okay very good 
Now I want to have something like this, this line and this text and this icon. So this line, very simple. You have this one here. And then we can change the color to maybe this one and the text. And let's change the color. But what about that icon? This one, that is another plugin. You can install that. Let me right click here. If you right click here, you will have more items plus plugins. But if you press it here, right click here, you can have only, you know, plugins with less items. I installed two plugins, Material Design Icon and Material Design Icon Community. It has a lot more icons. So first let's search this one. It takes a while to load all the items, especially this one, because it has over 5,000. Yes. And more than 5,000 icons. And for example, I want to search for mail, email. As you see, I have a variety of options. Then I can choose this one, for example. Once you click on one of them, it adds that to your workspace, but that is out of this frame. So let me drag it inside. Now that is inside Android 4, this frame. And then uh, I need, uh, what was that? Yeah, this one, I don't know, should I search for user? Um, a simple one, yeah, this one. Again, that is added. Sometimes that's hard to find that because, yeah, there are many items here. And um, something for password, key. Um, where is that here? So first, this one. But let's focus more on this one by Shift 2. Here, as you see, that is another frame inside my frame. You know, this is my frame and this is another frame. Let's me click on this. Another frame inside this frame. The type of this item is vector. Let's zoom, Shift 2. What is vector? Um, if you work with Illustrator and other um, graphic tools, maybe you're familiar with Vector. I don't need this frame, so let me drag it outside. Yes, that is outside. You know, you need to click only on this one. You know, if I click here, then both of them are selected. I need to click on this, then I can drag it outside. And this one, I don't need that and I can delete that. Now I have only this vector and vector. If you click on this one, you see those dots that made this uh, vector and I can change them. For example, I can select these two dots and for example, I can move them as you see by my keyboard, by those arrows on keyboard and you can change anything and you can add something to that, for example. This is the benefit of vector and the other benefit of vector like this. Let me zoom out a little bit. Yes. The quality is the same as you see, you know, but if that is a picture like this one, I cannot make it, you know, very large because the quality of that image, but vector, no. So maybe later we'll talk more about, you know, making a vector and changing that. And another good point is that you can change the color like this. I need a gray color more than this one. And this way you can, you know, make uh, your own items. Let me make a group. 
and let's copy and paste again we can make a component out of that for example this one password and this one so this is username and this one password it's almost ready uh, you can work on the details like you know the color of this one um, but let's do not waste the time easily you can complete that to make something like this for example here I have list radius the good point about you know designing in Figma before designer is that you can look at your design and um, you can see you know what is wrong you need to make all your decisions here not in designer here you have time and you know you can focus actually on um, you know design for example let me change that to 70 now you have time it's better to care about all details of your graphic here okay I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In following session, I will open my designer and I will start designing something like this in designer. Please do not forget to subscribe in my channel. And if you like my tutorial, please hit that like button.